Marjorie Taylor Greene appeared on Alex Jones's show to talk a little bit about things that should be different, considering their former deity, Donald Trump, promoted vaccines, promoted boosters even, said it was his vaccine, all that. Now he's gone off the rails. We need a new presidential candidate. So uh, let's watch Alex Jones pitch her as the next presidential candidate for the Republicans. Can we get you to run for president in the next few years? Because I think I think you're one of the few people uh, that would probably have a better voting record uh, and have a better chance than winning than even Trump. <laughs> well, Alex, I, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm I'm a very strong supporter of President Trump. But in the future, we'll we'll definitely see what happens. I'll see what the people think about something like that. Well, we my agenda would be all for this country. I just I love our country, and I hate absolutely hate what the federal government has done to the American people. This is truly mental illness. Wearing a mask today after two years of this Chinese virus that has infected our country, people still wearing masks. I mean, it's truly mentally ill. We know the masks don't work. And the vaccines don't work. People that are vaccinated are still getting COVID. But I think that people really have blood on their hands that have stopped the, the prescriptions of ivermectin, refused people who have had sick family members in the hospital of not being able to take ivermectin or any other kind of life-saving treatment or therapy. I mean, I truly think that we need to investigate all of these people and investigate the deaths that are reported on the VAERS system and hold people accountable because it's Dr. Fauci and anyone at the CDC or anyone involved that stopped life-saving treatments and therapies and people died, well, I think they're guilty of murder. That's a, a, a big platform there for Marjorie Taylor Greene and her run for president. Uh, it's kind of void of facts, so let's go to, go through just a few of those. So first of all, she said that uh, uh, that uh, masks just don't work because she said so. So by the way, a peer reviewed study says a little bit different. Let's look at that. Researchers, including a CDC doctor for a February 2021 article published by the Journal of, the, of American Medical Association, reviewed data from 10 previous studies. They conclude mask wearing substantially reduces spread, crazy. They write that wearing a cloth mask can reduce transmission of exhaled droplets from infected wearers into the air by around 50 to 70%. Additionally, masks were shown to help prevent uninfected wearers from inhaling large respiratory droplets. Overall, the authors found mask wearing's main benefit is source control, which protects others by reducing the number of respiratory droplets released. Rather than respiratory protection, which protects the wearer. Okay, point number one. Uh, let's skip down to the third, you guys, because she also cites that deaths from the vaccines, by the way, and she uses the VAERS report to back up this claim about what she was doing there. So in a July 2005 web post, Dr. James R. Laidler wrote, the chief problem with the VAERS data is that reports can be entered by anyone and are not routinely verified. To demonstrate this, a few years ago, I entered a report that an influenza vaccine had turned me into the Hulk. <laughs> the report was accepted and entered into the database. So this is perfect for people like Marjorie Taylor Greene and the rest of these crazed folks on the fringe of the Republican Party along with Donald Trump, except they've gone a little bit further. Now we're citing a various systems like this where people can literally cite whatever they want. And that's her basis for all of her belief systems. But she doesn't even say that, she just goes, because we know that. Who's we and what do you know and why do you know it? So also, according to the, there's a chart here. Let's look at this chart from our, our world data. Unvaccinated deaths in the US is higher compared to those who are vaccinated. We've seen this over and over and over again and over and over and over again. It just kind of makes sense. So yes, everyone's a little bit different. Yes, there's some people who have had mild symptoms based off what, and there's others who have died. So when she's talking about people that are dying and she wants to investigate the people that have died, I think we're still close to about 900,000 deaths in America. Have we investigated those to find out exactly why and when and who they listened to and if they paid attention to what you said and we should call you a murderer for it? I thought they were complaining about people being called murderers for their stances and how they've affected people. I thought that was it. Yeah, you know, what I thought was interesting at the beginning of that clip is that Marjorie Taylor Greene, when asked about running for president, she's like, look, Alex, even I'm not deluded enough to think I could take on our dear leader, Donald Trump. I thought that was funny when she was like, whoa, 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 cool, 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 pump the brakes there, Alex. There's a game I'm playing, there's a game. Yeah, like, stop it. We're not seriously trying to do anything. Um, But, you know, besides that, her, you know, basically boilerplate talking points from that side of the situation. 
about the vaccines being bad for you or not working. Um, even though we know all of the deaths, basically most of them, an overwhelming majority of the deaths from COVID-19 since the vaccine has been made publicly available have been from unvaccinated people. Most of the hospitalizations overwhelming, like we're not talking about like 51%, we're talking about in the 90% percentages, most of the hospitalizations of COVID are from people who are unvaccinated. Like we know the, the deal now. Um, so for her to come up there and still be telling lies and hawking medicines that don't work, this is part for the course for these folks. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of the same thing over and over and over again. But that's the thing, all you need to do is provide people that you've already convinced of this end game of ways to convince their mind to get there without having to concern themselves with the facts of what they're seeing right in front of them. So if that's the basis for becoming president, I guess she has a chance. Oh, Donald Trump already proved that that works. <laughs> and, that's the, and that's the thing, JR, it's like Trump's presidency has made it so that a lot of people who would have been like, no, there's no way I have a chance, that can't be serious, mm -hmm. wouldn't have thrown their hat in the ring. But now, you know, it feels like a lot more people are gonna come out of the woodworks and be like, why not me? Why can't I be the next Trump? And maybe they're not wrong. That's the problem. And that's where society and American voters and just adults in general have to start thinking about what they're up to. And and one last thing, the, the 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 worst part about it is like if this woman somehow did get the nomination for the Republican Party, <laughs> um, we're so polarized as a country. Like she would get at the very least like 48% of the vote, which is you know it's just insanity. I was gonna say I would look forward to seeing that, but actually I wouldn't. <laughs>